Greetings and salutations, it is I, Serene Sai, and we are back with some, some more Elden Ring. For starters, um, I'm just going to start off by saying I have no idea if this is going to be the next video upload, or if I'm going to try and see if the videos that I recorded prior to this are going to flow through. Because I have a lower computer than I should for YouTube, sometimes my videos when they record, they kind of record laggy. Even though they might not, it's it's very hard to explain. I'm sure someone with computer expertise might know what I mean, but unfortunately, that's the struggle that I have right now. And um, I basically got to the foot of the herb tree. Not even sure when I'm gonna wait, but considering that I'm at the foot, I'm assuming I'm gonna fight a boss. And um, I'm just gonna let you guys in on a little thing that I'm gonna be working on. So. In order to better myself in life and to make this YouTube channel something that people can actually want to watch, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to change how I upload things. Normally I upload, a little, ah, normally I upload on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of schedule with maybe some content Tuesday and Thursday. But because when I edit stuff, I don't feel like I'm putting in as much work as I could be. And it's because I have like a limited time with work and other responsibilities that I have at the moment. I don't feel like I'm able to like pump it out if I'm kind of rushed to basically edit in two days, maybe like five episodes. And I want those episodes to come out so you guys can see them. But if they're not edited in a way that I like, it kind of feels like I'm rushing and half-assing it. And I really don't want to do that. And especially with the series that I have planned coming to the channel, I want to make sure that I'm bringing the best possible content as I can. So I'm going to study a lot on the best ways to edit, try and find good memes because I'm kind of, uh, call me Patrick Stark because I'd be living under a rock with all these memes that you guys use on YouTube. But enough sad stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys, I don't think I used this against Radon if that was the last video that was ever uploaded to my channel. But um, we got this axe. It's not an axe, it's a hammer. I love this hammer. You get this hammer by beating one of the bosses. I forget where, but he's very obnoxious with his attacks and he doesn't stagger. But I love this hammer because just look at it. It's ginormous and fun to use and it staggers almost everyone. But we're going to be fighting this boss and hopefully it goes well. I'm level 99 now. I got decent stats. The issue being I kind of have to one hand, two hand this. So, you know, that kind of sucks. But if you guys are ready to hop into this journey with me. Hit that like button, consider subscribing, and here we go. Okay, so it is a major boss. Cutscene! I would hope so, we're at the foot of the earth tree. Hello! You look kind of old over there. What is thy business with these thrones? You look like... Margit? Godric the Golden. We killed him. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. Don't know them. General Radan. Dead. He did not fit Frank in that chair. Rikard. Don't know who you are. Luna Princess Rani. Okay, can we point out how Rainy has the smallest chair there? Or maybe that was just a, a coding error. Traitors. Oh. And then what does that make you? You're definitely Mar Margaret? Kind of but it, it, aren't you the first boss? Why are you alive? Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. What are you doing, bro? Ah, you got a nice sword. I don't think you're your Margaret anymore. Grave. Felled by King Morgoth. Last of all kings. I don't think so, bro. Because you know what I got? I got summons. Whoa, back up, back up. Oh my god, you're taking- Oh my god, you're taking damage. Only thing I don't like about her as a summon is that she kind of just stands there. She doesn't move out the way or nothing. So she took that hit for no reason. Anyway. Let's go. Ooh. You seem to be coughing up. Ooh. Don't die, please. Hello. 
We already have you halfway down. I feel bad. This episode gonna be hella short. Hello, you're kind of going wacky, bro. Alright, alright, alright. We get it, bro. We get it. Alright. Uh, this is very underwhelming. I didn't realize. Oof. Um, we got him down that low in a matter of, I don't even know, I'm five minutes into this recording and he's almost dead. Um, uh. All right, a little bit of context. So, here's me, right? This is my map so far. I kind of went on a, ever since I unlocked that axe, I've been leveling it up because it only uses regular smithing stones, it doesn't need somber ones. I've been leveling it up, finding places to get the stones that I need to level it up and whatnot, and it is technically stronger than a Bloodhound Greatsword that I've been using. I unlocked this area over here, I beat the boss over here, it was just a gigantic, annoying rhinoceros, rhino, bull, metal, it was annoying. I beat the the um, bl uh, Scarlet Rot Dragon that's somewhere over here. I think it's over here somewhere. I beat him, got a lot of runes off of him. And uh, I've just been kind of traveling, to be honest with you. Hell, I even figured out how to get to this darn cup over here. I haven't beat all the enemies over here, but, you know, I... I've been traveling, my guy. It's kind of been crazy. I even beat the boss up here, too. He gave me a decent amount of runes, too, so I've kind of been traveling, so I guess 99 is a little bit too over-leveled for this spot. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it kind of sucks because he just takes massive damage and he aggroes on her, so it's like it's totally easy. Anyway. The damage I do is crazy, too. Hello. Anyway, I'm just gonna walk up to you. Hope you don't mind. No damage. Run, and she's healthy. I know you're gonna go into your second phase. I took that damage on purpose, to be honest. I wonder why he gets into the. Okay, you're swinging, you're kind of swinging. I don't have the stamina for all that, bro. I got the health to deal Bruh. with it. Okay, that was, that was just unfair. Don't die on me. Yes! I would've been mad if you killed me right there. Um. Oh, I got a bigger... <laughs> This is so underwhelming, but I can I can live with those runes. I can definitely live with them runes. Where's the grace at? I mean, even if I wasn't out of leveled, I think he might have killed me a couple of times, but he definitely wasn't hard. Again, I was doing crazy damage, so I couldn't really see what his first phase brought me. But second try, let's go. Also, I just want to point out, um, I forget her name, the girl that said she would turn our runes to strength. When I marked out a grace, when I got into this area, she kind of left me, you know, to die. But, uh, and Penner, okay. None may enter the earth tree. Okay, that grace kind of just popped out of nowhere, just saying. Uh, but, that wasn't here, I'm positive of I looked for it. Alright, whatever. Well, that was underwhelming. Let me level up real quick. Oh, hello, I was just talking about you. Hello again, old friend. We ain't I'm friends, you abandoned me. To converse with you. I guess. Unable to enter the earth tree. No? I really want to go beyond it. By the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. 
a husk of the Erd Tree's being. Just saw someone fighting behind me. Exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. I don't see any way to do that. Serves to aid in that very act. Really now. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the Flame of Ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Are you serious? You have giants living in clouds here? I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Uh, did she just say on fire? Uh, honestly, I'm a build up endurance to be on. I kind of want strength to be up too. All right. Uh. Alright, well, apparently girl wants to set the air tree on fire, because I can't think of anything else the word aflame means. Then there's a red mark. So I'm supposed to go there, but I guess I gotta go here first? Now, excuse me while I figure out how in the world to get there. Okay, so what I did actually remember is that I actually ventured over here despite almost dying several times. I literally ran out of flask and I was stuck over here because I didn't see this lever right here. I thought this was a chair of some sort. So I came over here and um, it said that there is an area that was blocked off by Morgoth. And I am going to the right direction. Let's go. Alright, so brains do work sometimes. Now, since Morgoth's dead, this area shouldn't be, well, it's still going to be guarded, but the guards here are kind of, kind of weak. You guys can't stand up to me! I missed. But you're dead. Now you're dead. Oh, you think your flame magic's going to help you, bro? Anyway. Gulp. Who's shooting at me? You think I didn't see that? I missed, bro? That's crazy. How you thought you're gonna live. Speak small, but carry a big hammer. I feel like Amy Rose right now. Ooh, a horse guy. Capital outskirts. New area. Come at me, bro. Anyway. Anyway. That horse seems very fond of you. Anyway. <gasps> Shouldn't be on a horse. It's pretty dangerous out here. Invigorating white cured meat. Yo, my health bar. Let me look at. Oh, my stats. I wish I could. I don't know why, but it feels like stamina is just growing so slowly now. All right, what ash of war do you have for me now? Hello. Ay, 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 ay. Bro, what? Bro just turned into a gigantic thing. I didn't want that though. That's for one, it scares the crap out of me. I thought he was gonna turn into, turn around and eat me. I'm glad those things don't attack you. You know how obnoxious? Well, I think the ones near the dragon that you get the key from do, but yes, whatever. So I wonder what this is exactly. Hold up, is that that same lift that we went through before? It's like over here now? No, it's just a regular lift. Except for it's lifting me down. Am I supposed to go down? Alright, uh, don't know where I am, but it looks kind of terrifying. Plus, I did at CC, uh, stuff. Where are we at? The Forbidden Lands. Well, if you don't mind me, I'm ahead toward this map, so I'm gonna see where we are. 
A few minutes later. Oh, heck no. Oh, that's the bear. Okay, cool. There's a state of Mardica nearby. Bro came flying in. I didn't expect it. <laughs> These gargoyles be kind of horrible people. You did like no damage to her, which is crazy. She a trooper. But your damage is pretty out. Oh my god. Flashback. You did like no damage to her, which is crazy. She a trooper. End of flashback. I'm about to torn past you, bro. I can beat you. If you do that, though, that's a guaranteed win right there. Right, dodging doesn't make sense. I can win. Die. Oh, my flask are gone. Hooray. They're not hard to beat, it's just because they flip and fly and everything. I have so many gargoyle axes, it's not even funny. Give me grace! I'm lucky I beat that thing. Thanks to this weapon, it's awesome. It's crazy. I can't talk while I'm fighting these things because they kind of just annoy the crap out of me. Am I in like the wrong spot? No, it looks like I'm in the right spot. I just... I think, I guess the map's up there. Oh yeah, this is one of those lift things that I like, got to the other place with. Okay. Medallion hoisting time. So my question is, like, she said she's gonna set the earth tree on fire. So... Isn't there a different way to do that? I feel like setting that gigantic tree on fire could not possibly be good in any way, shape, or form. Mostly like because think of the ecosystem, bro. You're gonna be destroying a lot of, lot of things. And for what? To become Elden Lord? I'm not even sure if the Elden Ring's an actual ring. Could be. Might not be. Probably not. For all I know, it could just be a title. Well, I guess Elden Lord is technically a title. I'm thinking too much. But it looks like we made it. Um, to be quite honest with you, I wanna, f okay, we found gray school. There seems to be a lot of spirits here, not kill them? No, they're just spirits. Huh. 
Well, let's rest here. And then we're gonna end the episode here. I don't know what boss could possibly await me in this area, but I'm gonna spend the next few times completing a, completing a few quests. Cause I'm. Oh wait, it's you. Hi, guy. Why the long face? I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Shabriri. You had a lot of pauses in your sentence. You were about to sacrifice the life of a fair maiden. Only so that you may be lord. What a horrible thing to ponder. Your ascendancy requires her sacrifice. But how would the lord crown so chosen tarnished and would be lord spare the poor girl? If you are prepared to attain lordship through, then heed the words of our chosen. Descend into the desic audience with the three fingers if you inherit. The flame of frenzy and the girl can be spared, setting you on the righteous path of lordship, the path of the lord of chaos. Oh, I like me some chaos. Burn the earth tree to the ground and incinerate all. Ah, oh, may chaos, may chaos take the world. All right, well that guy's crazy. Had a kind of hankering to kill him, but I'll be nice. Um, made some progress. Uh, the first few seconds of this video are just going to be pretty sad, but um, we made it to another part of the map. Our map is quite expanding. We can see the entire Ur tree now, so that's pretty dope. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what else is up here and what, where else the rest of the map is, to be honest. There's another piece right here, so I'll look for that. But, um, yeah, this game is far from over, and I look forward to finishing the rest of it with you guys. I mean, I would assume once we find it, well, no, no. There's probably, like, tons more game before we finish it. Plus, I think this is this part of the map, too. I just don't know why it looks like that compared to the rest of it. But, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be, um... I have no idea when this is going to come out, but I promise you it's going to be worth it. I'm going to do whatever I can to make the edits as good as possible. And at the end of the day, I hope you guys just enjoy, and um, I will see you in the next one. This is Serene.